Mission, a lifestyle channel for moms that are on a mission to create an extraordinary, extraordinary life. <laughs> I'm your host, Virginia Jimenez, and today I am offering you a mindful because there's going to be Mondays where I felt that there might be a need to talk or share about something else. And so while I do encourage you to take a breather, to take a body's constantly communicating things to you. Um, if you need some of that, you can look back at some of the past Mindful Monday Moment videos. But this particular video is going to be a short, inspiring talk about financial house. I'm, um, aside from being a coach, I'm pretty much a wellness entrepreneur. So I also provide products that help us have more cognitive functioning, um, abilities to think clearly, um, situations. And it's all products from the Amazon from Peru. It's with fusion, the company fusion. So if you're interested in checking that out, you can check out the site. I, I am fusion with an X instead of an S dot net slash the importance of investing the money that we make. Because I happened to see her carry a Louis Vuitton bag and I was like, um, you know, I, I asked, you know, so are you saving any money? Are you since starting the conversation or just some, some seed for me to begin the conversation, which I think is an important conversation to have with family members. You know, I'm, I'm in my mid thirties. I actually went to school classes the last year, pretty much last seven months of my classes. I don't remember there being ever a moment where I felt inspired to understand what are, what stocks are, what bonds are, what money market accounts are, um, taking all those little skills and actually applying it to an area of the life where you can begin to make better choices about what your future for your family will look like. I think that that was because my mindset was in a place of thinking I work for somebody else, so I don't need my my money doesn't ne doesn't necessarily come from these small these investments that I make and really how much money. I make. But later on, in retrospect, I think that was a mindset of having a, a corporate mindset, you know, always thinking that money's going to come through these other means that that's not the the main mean to to receive money and and just ha putting all my eggs in one basket essentially. And I think that it's a mistake. Go work for somebody. And then we only ha collect money from that particular institution. Um, and when the day comes that something happens and they decide you're no longer the person that needs to be working there, that, you, you know, you, you're at a loss. So where are we falling back on when we need uh, investment or some sort of way to accumulate money? And usually in corporations, they offer 401k plans so you can go ahead and invest, especially if they're matching plans. It's a great opportunity to do so. But why not already do something else additional aside from that, aside from the 401k that they offer? Why not really invest more of our money into, uh, into the stock market? Now, when I asked that question, I think, well, one of the things that came up for me is that when I really want about the stock market and other aspects of, of investing, I would go on there and they would, I think they had a, an account you could play with. And I just didn't commit the time to actually going in and playing with the stock market. And all of it is, is just this sense of, I don't know what that field is like. I don't know what that playing field is like. So why get into it? So we don't. And I think there's a huge mistake with that. And I um, provide life coaching, love coaching, business coaching. And um, I started to be more cognizant of how I use my money and where my money's come from. And not only that, but how many streams I could create, uh, how many possibilities I could create to, to make sure I have the funds needed to take care of my family. And so with that came, well, you know, I need to invest for myself in order for me to invest in the future. And I signed up for a stock market class, which has been very phenomenal. It's, um, it's the Black Business School. I'll put a link to, uh, I, should, I should be more specific, it's inspiring black people, uh, minorities, non-whites, to, um, to really go out there and, and be more, cognizant of how they use their money. Um, and the reason I'm sharing that is because I think it is important. I think that sometimes, you know, depending on where you come from, if your parents don't know much about it, it's very hard for you to see that that's a possibility for you to do because it's, again, an unknown playing field. So I want to just kind of share with that, that with you guys. If, 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 if anything, be sure to, to do more with your money than just go out there and buy Fendi and Prada stuff and um, save up money for that Mustang that you want at the end of the year or that show car that you're building for if you're a guy. Or, well, you might be a girl doing that too. Um, you know what? Money, your investment into several different companies where you can, you know, where you can grow your money. And I'm talking about it in a sense of like doing it for the long term. 
um, kind of like your 401k. And I'll put the link below for one um, that I use, actually, it's called Stash. Stash is S-T-A-S-H. And it's a website, it's an app actually on my phone where I can go ahead and invest money into the stock market. They have already set up portfolios. You can review it on your own. You can see if there's something that's interesting to you, what's going on in the industry. Um, and uh, it sends you, it, it provides you with estimates of if you start investing this amount per month, this is what it potentially looks like based on this income. I'm sorry, this interest rate. So I'll put that below, but I, I, you know, I just wanted to come on and just kind of plant that seed. Like, what are we doing with our money? Where are we putting our money? Are we growing our money? Or are we just going out there doing, doing, doing and not planting any seeds? This is, this is important, especially if you're a mom, because don't hold on to that excuse of, well, I'm a single mom. Well, I don't know better. This is an opportunity right now to start learning more. We need to be educated. We need to... Sorry, I'm going to re rephrase that. We are educated individuals. It's not to say that we don't know, but we don't know everything. And sometimes we need a, a little, you know, a little seed planted, like a seed was planted in me. And I'm sure with many of you have learned even other things that could, you could definitely share about finance. And if you want, go ahead and leave a comment below. If you have to build that financial legacy so that we leave a legacy for our children, so that we teach them, uh, teach our children how to use their money. Because what we do right now is what they see. We do more what they see than what they actually hear. So practice what you preach. Let's preach it, but let's do it as well. And you can do it in small steps, baby steps if you need to. If you want to have a didn't know better, they did the best that they can, and it's true they did. And at this point, we can educate ourselves and make different kinds of decisions about what we do for our financial future, which is our, our family's financial future. You know, if you don't have a, a life insurance policy and you're a mom, life that you know I make sure that that gets paid for because we don't know we do know there's a guarantee that we're all gonna die and I'm sorry to get morbid on you but that's the reality of it um, but we don't know when and you don't want to leave your children with nothing you know you don't want to leave them struggling but I guess I'm feeling a bit passionate about it again listen this is this is all to plant a seed about becoming more cognizant about our language around money what do we say? What do we talk about money? What is it that we're, are, are we just settling for a, a specific way of life? Or can we do, can we make better decisions? Can we build on that? And what do we want to see 15 years, 20 years from now? Let's talk about this man who is actually serving a life sentence. Very inspiring story about how he learned about financial literacy in the prison system and how he started to teach uh, individuals in prison about financial literacy led to him um, learning how to read because he didn't know how to read before that. So not only was he became, did he become financially literate, but he became, um, he just became uh, literate as in as what, you know, reading, reading and writing. So uh, asking for assistance, um, going out there and reading books, looking at articles, um, checking out YouTube videos, <laughs> sometimes that helps, um, and making things happen, all right? We are here to create, you're here in this channel, Mama's on a Mission, to create an extraordinary space and um, help heal from the inside out. Um, there'll be more talks around financial literacy as well. Feel free to send, put a comment below. If you have not subscribed, do so now. Subscribe to this channel. This is today's Mindful Monday moment. Thank you so much for having, or they certainly do. Until next time, I'm Virginia.